circumcision harm to the scrotum, squeezing the testes. So here we go. We have, we've got a penis that has been circumcised or usually amputated. Uh, so we don't have any coverage of the glands. Here is the it's supposed to be the frenum. If it's still there, don't let get it cut off. That's another harm I'll we'll talk about later. Um, but when it, when it comes to the scrotum, uh, say you got a penis that's you know laying down like that when it's not erect, when the corpus cavernosum isn't full of blood, and it starts going this way because it starts coming up with blood, and then you know, maybe more so this way. The since you don't have the skin <coughs> rolling down. Man would. The skin is pulling up on the scrotum, right? and you can see this in uh, if you watch porn. You can see some porn videos of men where their scrotum gets so tight that the balls pull up around the the <coughs> the shaft of the penis. It goes to the sides. And in my case, what would happen? when I was younger and things stretched out down there for me now. Happens to men just like when you get just uh, aggy boobs and then get saggy scrotum. <clears throat> but mine would pull up so tight that it would pull the, the testes up inside my body. Um, now your testes are, when you're in your utero, they are in your body and then they, they fall as you Maybe after you're born, or maybe shortly after you're born as a young child, they, they descend. Your testes are supposed to descend. Well, so because they pull up, pulled up into my body, it, it would sometimes hurt to, um, to the point where I felt kind of, kind of like getting kicked in the balls. Um, and I would have to stop masturbation or stop sexual activity until my erection calmed back down a little bit. Um, and basically the corpus cavernosum would have to release some of the blood and I had to psych myself out in order for that to, to happen and then continue until ejaculation. That's another harm of circumcision.